gentlemen, we got a big day today. Um, I'm gonna be putting together this nine drawer mobile work center. That's what it says in the box at least. Uh, it's a Husky nine drawer toolbox that I bought. So I'm actually pretty excited for this. We're gonna be putting this together. I actually need to go pick up a package at the post office. Hold on, man. I know. All right, I'm gonna, I'll show you. I'll show you, baby girl. So this is Finley. Picked her up two days ago and uh, show you Pete on my garage, actually. If you guys have a look here, um, Look at this right here, man. Look at this right here. Look at that mark right there. See that skid mark? That's not a damn burnout. It's not a damn wall tap. That is piss, man. It's piss, unfortunately. But it's okay, though, man. They're puppies. Puppies do what they want to do, right? I mean, you can't really complain. Um, you just love them. And that's about it. So I'm going to take her on the ride. It's the first time that she's going to be in the car. Uh, I mean, we drove her back, but she's been in the Jeep only. So this is going to be totally different. And uh, we'll see how she does. Hopefully, she's okay. She's without her brother for the first time. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we actually picked up two dogs, one for us and then one for my fiance's mom and dad. So we have two at the moment and uh, they're the same age, same litter. And uh, we're gonna see how she does on her first trip out without him. Come here. Oh yes, look at her. She is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my goodness. But we got stuff to do today. Hopefully you're gonna help me. Don't lick my camera, girl, jeez. All right, you ready? I'm gonna go get some damn packages. We got something at the post office. Oh. Oh. It's a freaking sauna in here. We'll see how she does though. I know. But we can't start the car like this though. What are we gonna do? Ready? Just gonna hang out right there? Okay. You ready? It's a hot one, 31 degrees today. I'm gonna put Miss Finley right there. Tell you what though, this car needs a damn cleaning. I got stuff all over the place. Uh, I got garbage just chilling right here. Like, absolutely not good for the dog, but uh, that'll all come. We're gonna clean the car up very soon, get it polished again, and just get everything going. Hello, Miss, I know, you wanna come on over here. We gotta get that package though. I think Wheel Stand Pro has sent us something else, girl. We gotta get it. You're gonna put a seatbelt on as well, or what? What do you think? Get a harness or something? All right, come on up. Come on. Just whatever you do, please don't puke in my car. That's all I ask from you, that's it. Come on. So a little update on the car. Um, I do have my carbon fiber rear diffuser that I need to get put on. And uh, that'll be coming very soon. I've been waiting for that to go on for months now. I've had it. So that's going to be happening pretty soon. I'm going to do an install video on that. And then I just got to get the car tuned up. I got to get the brakes looked at because they're still squealing a little bit. What are you doing, bro? Are you sleeping already? I don't know how she's going to do with the ride. I don't want to test her too much. Obviously, um, she's only eight weeks old. She's probably never really been in too many cars. And... Also, too, she did have an accident. She did throw up on the way back from getting her. So that was uh, it was not too good, man. Now, close to where we are right now, there is an abandoned gas station that uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty nice area to run the crazy car. So that is kind of my next exploration that I want to go over to with the crazy car and rip some slides over there. Uh, I think it's going to be a really dope video. I just got to make sure it's accessible and it's a public place. I, you know, I'm not going to be breaking any violations or anything, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's a one wheel drive damn cart. So I don't see it being too much of an issue. Chit, all right, let's see how you do in your own seat. Let me give you your own seat. Let's see how you do. Right, what do you think? Nice car or what, girl? I rolled that window. But you got to sit down though. Can you sit? She, she doesn't know the word sit yet. We're going to try though. Come on, baby girl. Sit down. Wall tap. What do you think? Imagine that. She said, we say wall tap, she sits. That'd be, that'd be crazy. That was a G right there. I see him. Now, obviously where I'm going, it's not that far. Obviously I wouldn't be taking the dog on a massive road trip by myself, but I think it'd be a good opportunity just for her to get in the car for the first time and just see how she likes it. But she's not doing that bad though. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. All right, I gotcha. I know it's hot too. I know it's a bastard out. All right. All right, here we go.
We will stay in pro. I told you, man. They be uh, they be doing big things right now. I almost didn't get it because they said that they needed the proper address on my driver's license because I haven't officially changed it yet. I know it's supposed to be done. Um, I didn't really know about it until a couple days ago, and they said that you needed to do it like within seven days of moving. So um, yeah, it needs to be done ASAP. I just haven't had a chance to get it done. On our way home, I'm gonna be opening up this. I also have another package from Controller Chaos that I'm gonna be opening as well, which I'm actually very excited to. I waited to open that. And, uh, oh, we got a red light, okay. This Controller Chaos, we have the tool chest that I need to build for the day and uh, get all of my tools in there. I mean, I don't have a lot of tools. I know a lot of you guys were saying, you know, Slap, is a project car coming? Yes, but all in due time. You know, I can't just be doing everything one after the other. I just got the house and I'm trying to buy everything to go in it. Because obviously I didn't, you know, I can't, what are you doing, bro? I came from really nothing. So, you know, all I had was my setup and, you know, we had to fully furnish the house. So, you know, everything's in due time, but it will be coming. You know, that's why there's a two car garage. It's not for the Jeep. Jeep's not going in there. The damn project cars. I told her that. I said, that's my garage. You don't get a spot in that, girl. But, you know, I mean, obviously not in that manner. But, um, yeah. So, what are you doing, miss? I'm trying to drive this damn car here. What do you think? It's an 03 G35. I got 145K on the odometer. I pumped 91 in it only now. We got an intake, strut bar. I got a rear diffuser going on, all right? And I got the damn shift knob. What do you think? You like? Oh, 275s on the rear, 245s on the front. We got those Falcon FK453s on this all around. I know, they're, they're nice tires. Tell me about it. Revs too, listen. All right? Zero to 60, I don't even know. 6.2 to 0, it's not bad, I got Brembo's on it, it's a Brembo package. I know, it was a bad idea putting that right on your seat, but I'm sorry. We sliding around in no time on there. Ready? Woo! It's quick too, I mean V6, 3.5 liter, VQ, VQ35, it's not bad. Match it up with the Jeep, yank the handbrake, and we're here. Get out of this damn steam box in here. Like, AC still doesn't work. I need to get that fixed, I know. Getting it fixed, I already got the part ordered in. Uh, it's just a matter of now getting it to the shop to get the part on. So that's really my next steps with the car. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go put together that damn tool chest, man. I'm done. Could really use some help, guys. Come on now. All right, mister, come on over here. I'm gonna show you off. So, this is Finley's little brother right here, Mr. Angus. Same, same litter. Look at him. He is the freaking cutest thing with Finley I've ever seen. They're like two peas in a pod. What do you guys think of this? 52 inch, nine drawers, workstation. Look at this. I can put a damn clamp on here. I can work on there. Whatever I want to do, I can do it right there. What do you think? Three-year warranty? Not bad. Three boxes to open up today. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to slap that like button if you'd like to see more house-style vlogs. These dogs look like they're going to just pass out right now, which I'm not, not mad about. Hey, hey, don't be fighting the garbage. Hey, come on. Come on over here. We're going to open some stuff. All right, so unfortunately, I don't have an exacto knife. I don't know where the hell they're going, but I got a kitchen knife, so that will do. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, I wasn't expecting all this. I really wasn't, but here we go. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this one by one. Uh, Controller Chaos has hooked me up. We got a beautiful hat right here. You guys can see this. I got it. It didn't touch the ground, I swear. This is absolutely dope. And this will be going on to the collection of my hats, man. Huge thank you. Shout out to Controller Chaos. We also got a uh, beautiful Controller Chaos t-shirt, man. Look at this right here. Look at that shit. It's a nice damn shirt, man. That's nice, so hell yeah. Nothing, is there anything? Nope, nothing on the back. They got me a bag? Oh my God, this is sick, actually. This is, uh, 
probably one of the sickest bags that I have next to my Forza Fuel bag. Now they also hooked me up with a Controller Chaos wristband. You guys know I love my wristbands. We got bubble wrap down there, go for it. Yeah, have fun. Look at this guy. Where are you going? What are you guys doing? That's bubble wrap. You ain't scared, I know you. Controllerchaos.com, elevate your game. That is sick, man, that's fresh. Also got a lanyard from them as well too. This is like the serious ultimate care package from Controller Chaos and a lanyard. You guys know I love my lanyards as well too. That is dope, huge, huge thank you. But we are not done because this is exactly what I thought that I was getting. I didn't know I was getting all that shit right there. That is absolutely sick. The entire team at Controller Chaos has been just hooking us up. You guys know they sponsored top 10 drifts last week as well too. And they have went ahead and they have hooked me up with my very own. I don't want to damn drop this right out of the case. Now you guys can see, this is a PlayStation controller right here. It's PlayStation, not Xbox. And I want to look with you guys, man. Screw that shit. Here we go. Okay, where is it? Ooh, okay. So we got, first off, the stickers right there. That's pretty sick. But if you look at the back, what do you guys notice about that print? That is the Call of Duty Zombies Pack-A-Punch design on this PlayStation controller. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at this shit right there. That is absolutely beautiful. I love this controller, man. I really do. Look at the design with this, man. Focus. The design on that controller. Flawless right now. Absolutely flawless. Now, originally when they showed it to me, um, they said to do the slap in white. And I saw it with the white. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it in black. And uh, originally, I thought that was going to be a good idea. But looking at it now... Uh, the P's not as visible as I thought it was going to be. So I think if I was going to redo that, it would be in white, but I'm not complaining, man. It looks dope. It's nice and sleek. You know, it's hidden, which is what I wanted. So at the end of the day, I'm very happy with this. And you guys can see at the very back there, you can see the beautiful Controller Chaos logo right on the top. This is a sick controller. Just an absolutely huge, big shout out to Controller Chaos for this. Uh, this is going into the collection of controllers and will be my active PlayStation controller. This is sick, man. Huge thank you. This is, a, this is a care package and a half, man. I love that. Now, if you guys would like to pick up your own Controller Chaos controller, link will be in the description box down below. I figured the ratio of this video, let's hang this shit, right? Look at this shit right here, man. This is sick. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. Second box. Now, this one, I believe, is from Wheel Stand Pro. You guys know them, solid ass company. You guys know I use everything. Oh shit, man, that's bubble wrap there. My bad, my bad. And uh, I believe I know what is in here, unless we got a surprise like we just had. That was absolutely crazy. So, in this box, it's two things. One is an extension bar for my PlayStation 4 rig. Just the tip is left, just the tip, there we go, okay. So, this is for the PlayStation 4 rig. And this is gonna allow me to extend the height of my actual wheel stand pro. Um, as you guys know, I'm like six foot two, man. You know, it's not an easy thing to be playing on that. So what we have also got as well to pretty much complete the entire setup is, so for the PlayStation side, I'm now gonna be able to invert these exactly like my Xbox side. And then pretty much whatever's left is the handbrake and that's about it. So huge thank you, wheel stand pro for both of these guys. And we got one box left, which is the big old Husky. I'm gonna put this together, man, because I need this thing working. Now, if you guys are wondering, Slap, why are the dogs in here with you? Well, uh, fiance's been looking after them pretty much all day, so. Jesus. Double down. Before we begin, snack break, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a Twix bar to go, and a good old sip of water right there. Look at that, Twix. What do you guys think, Twix, or what would you choose for a chocolate bar, let me know. I got you, come on over here, Bubs. Give the water all the chocolate. It's a hard day out here. One twitch down, one to go, but I'm saving it, man. We gotta save it for after the job is completed. Now, if you guys have a toolbox at home, let me know what you got, and uh, you know, we can do a little comparison, but I figured though, for the space that I have, this thing is perfect. Now, there's no need to go anything bigger at all. Uh, oh, shit. Really? Third time. Third time's a charm. Get the box out of here. Oh, I think it's gonna come assembled. I'm pumped. This is gonna be sick. 
We're gonna try to get this unboxing done as fast as possible. So that way it does not say, oh shit, my bad. So we have a guide, a user and care guide. Husky 52 inch nine drawer workbench, questions, missing parts, blah, blah, blah. Uh, by the looks of it, we're just getting a couple screws and that's about it. All we're gonna have to do is put on the handles. What are you doing back there? And the wheels, and that is really about it. So it's not that much. Uh, we have drawer maintenance, so just lubricate the slides. Now, this does look damn solid, but I'll give it that. It's right attached to it, or unless it is already attached. I don't know, it looks to be already attached. So, that being said, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, we're just gonna pull everything out. And I'm just gonna break the box right down. I think it's gonna be the easiest way to do so. We have a volunteer, come on over. Let's go. Come on over. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. This is gonna literally lift right up, right? Can't believe I just. I was gonna literally rip apart the entire box, is what I was gonna do. Okay. It's like damn staples in this bitch, man. It's gorgeous, oh my god. It's like taking off a fresh paint job or something like that, damn. Extra weight tools go in here. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need to get this out of here though. So with that being said, where am I gonna put this damn thing is the next question that I have. Listen to this mechanism in here. That's solid. God damn, this is nice. Man, if you guys are asking Slab, how much did you pay for this bad boy? Got it on sale, Home Depot, for $3.98, man. $3.98 for this thing. Absolutely crazy. Heavy duty casters as well, support up to 1,000 pounds. And uh, it's gonna be beautiful, man. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of my damn new toolbox? These two guys, I'll be giving you guys updates as well too. I'm look at them, man. Oh my God, they're so damn cute. Finley, Angus, ladies and gentlemen, got a Husky toolbox right there. Controller Chaos package on the wall. Huge thank you and shout out once again. Was not expecting that whatsoever. So just the guys over there completely hooked me up as well as Wheel Stand Pro. Send me that beautiful extender piece and the ability now, hold on. And the ability now to run my T3PA Pro pedals inverted as well too. These guys are starting to play fight down there. What the hell are you guys doing, man? What are you doing? Hey, 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 no, no. Now if you guys were wondering, this is not bags of actual garbage. I'm not a damn slob. Uh, this is all styrofoam and unfortunately because I do live in a house now, they only come to pick up one bag of garbage per week. So I've just been trying to get rid of it as slowly as possible. So the next steps in this entire garage, clean it up, get stuff placed in the actual toolbox, figure out a spot for it. And this overall start to make this look like a shop. I wanna redo the floors, redo the walls, uh, take this shit off as well too. You see that kind of wood beam that's going all the way down. Looks damn disgusting. It's just it's a straight up wood that is nailed it right to there. So I can definitely do it better. And uh, I do want to also, like I said, laminate the floors or do something so my oil spills and you know things like that of that nature won't get in. It's crying. Life is crying. For today, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys once again for coming around today. Don't forget to slap that like button, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another video with your motorcycle train. Ah, you guys thought I was gonna leave you without showing you the whole thing set up, man. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Four wheels on it. We got the handle as well. Solid wood top. You guys know this. We can just take this shit off. But the only problem that I do not like with this, just look at this shit, man. They put a sticker right there and I tried to get it off, and it's one of those stickers that doesn't come off easily. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? They shove them on the game cases, but uh, we're gonna get that off very shortly. Now, real quick, I'll show you guys what I have in here so far. Uh, now keep in mind, I still have this entire whole tool set, and I also have another one of these as well too. Oh my God. So once I get the felt mats like these there, um, kind of just to keep the tools steady, then I will be uh, you know, putting them all in the actual chest. But check this out right here. Full on locking mechanism locks the entire thing, which is pretty dope. I'll go ahead, open it up. And then what we got so far. This is just the starting collection. Obviously I don't have much, you know, hammer, tape measure, gloves, breaker bar, earmuffs, zip ties are a damn must, WD-40, string, you guys already know. So coming down to this first drawer down below, 
We have my box and ratchet wrenches as well. Uh, we have just the regular ratchets, big or small. You guys already know from the set over there. Exacto knife, finally found that damn thing. Over here, all the screwdrivers, all the bits and pieces on the end. And uh, this thing must be on a slight angle because everything is coming out. Don't have much but the tool collection is about to begin. We also have this guy down here that I got from the NOCO company, and uh, they sent me a beautiful GB70 Boost HD Jump Starter. So I'm gonna be doing a nice little unboxing on that very shortly. Lithium 2000 amp as well. So things an absolute beast. Huge thank you to the NOCO company for that. You guys can find all their products down below in the description box. Ladies and gentlemen, figured I'd at least show you guys the finished product. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Oh, Jesus. No. Here we go, here we go. And then that pops out. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out this bitch. Oh my god. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Slab Training. Welcome back guys. 